Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Chief Gunner's Mate Deadeye Duck from the Bucky O'Hare line from Boss Fight Studios. Very excited to get this one. Uh, Deadeye was always a favorite character from this line when I was a kid. I think just the four arms and the four guns, you know what I mean? He's just ready for a fight at all times. Plus the eye patch is cool. Just an angry duck. I don't know why. It just makes me laugh. I love it. Uh, but yeah, artwork on the card. Great. Love this over here. Taking a look on the back. You can see some of the others in the line. Now, this one is a little bit earlier than the Stormtoe Trooper, which I already reviewed. So you can see that one's kind of uh, blacked out and says coming soon. Just kind of a teaser there. Uh, we have these two repaints that they did, which, I don't know, not my favorite. So I'll be skipping those, but uh, very excited to get Deadeye here. I had to get this one directly from Boss Fight Studios because I bought the others on Big Bad Toy Store and they were out of uh, Deadeye Duck. I think they did a Deadeye Duck repaint as well. It seems like they're pretty much repainting every figure in this line, I guess, just to get use out of the molds, which I get it. It makes sense. But uh, I really wanted him in the original color scheme. So luckily, Boss Fight Studios had him in stock, so I grabbed it from over there. So like I said, very excited to grab this guy. Going to go ahead and get him out of the packaging, and we're going to take a closer look. So here's Deadeye out of the packaging. I think he looks great. They did a really nice job. I love seeing him loaded up with all four guns. Now these two guns are exactly the same as each other, but then this one and this one are different. So it's three different molds, and then you just get a second of this one. Now the thing that I think is pretty cool about the guns, they look good. Obviously very nice detailing and everything, but they have these connection points here, these big circles. You can see this one unfortunately has a little bit of flashing in there, but I can clean that out. But he's got these uh, kind of posts all over his body. And you can store the guns on there. They should connect to any of them on the back. Uh, he has these ones on the waist. Now, they're a little bit more difficult, the ones on the waist, because the arms get in the way. But they'll still be used, so you can store the guns on any of those, which I appreciate. I think that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and get this back in his hand. I also like how he has trigger fingers that actually fit in the trigger spots on the guns. I think that's a really nice touch. And overall, just the design. I mean, the eyes painted really nicely. It just kind of looks like it left right out of the comic, which I think is really cool. The eye patch looks great. The expressions are great. And you actually get a couple different ones. So how this works is the, the bill just actually completely comes out. Now, without the bill, that's the stuff of nightmares. He looks like an ant or something. <laughs> but you just take the bill off, and then you get a couple of different ones. So you have a completely closed mouth bill. Or you have a slightly smaller grimace, I guess. Less teeth showing. So I think all three look good. But I'm going to go back to the one that was on the packaging. Or I should say, on him in the packaging. With the larger grimace. Because that's my favorite. But I think that's really cool. And it's a really simple way to just get some different facial expressions. By just changing out the bill. Which is an interesting idea. Uh, the head is on. Now, unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to stay on as well as some of the others, so that's something to worry about. But it's not going to fall off necessarily just while it's on, but if you try to move the head around, sometimes you accidentally kick it off, as you can see. But it won't, once you put it on, like just posing, it's not going to fall off, but when you try to move the head around. Now, it's a kind of a double barbell system. So there's a barbell at the, or I should say the ball joint is at the base of the neck and at the base of the skull. So you can get a lot of range of motion there with those two ball joints. Then for the shoulders, you have a hinge, which is very tight. The hinges on mine are very tight. Really, all of the joints are very tight on this figure, so I would just be really careful. Uh, but you have a hinge and a rotation at the shoulder, then you have a hinge and a rotation at the elbow, and then you just have a wrist swivel because they're just uh, pegs that you peg in. Now, he does come with some additional hands. So, for his left hands, he's got a thumb up hand. And he's got a kind of open hand. And you can put them on either left hand. So, you can mix and match all those. And then for the right hand, he's got a closed fist. And then he's got this, which I think is a pen or a piece of chalk. I'm not really 100% sure what that is. At first I thought maybe it was a cigarette, but it doesn't really look like a cigarette. So the way he's holding it looks more like a pen or something. I'm really not sure. I guess it could be either, whichever you prefer. Uh, but that goes in the uh, right hand. So those are the four hands that he comes with. I'm not going to switch them out because honestly I took out one of these and getting it back in was really difficult. 
Uh, the pegs are almost too small for the peg holes. You kind of have to put it in and then just kind of twist it until you can get it down in there. Uh, but at first I was having trouble even moving the hands because they were kind of stuck in there. So I kind of had to pull them out and then, you know, get them back in there to free up that rotation. So just be a little careful with them. They should be fine, but just be careful. Then he does have a kind of ball joint here in this, uh, like, I don't know, diaphragm cut. But because of the harness, you don't really get to see it all that much. And he has a waist swivel as well. But again, the harness kind of cuts off access to it. But it is there. Then you have two really tight ball joints here in the hip. Really, really tight. Um, you do have a thigh swivel in there as well. So you can kick to the front. Kick a little bit to the back, but his duck butt gets in the way. And then you can kick out to the side. And then you have that kind of thigh swivel there. And then you have a knee joint that bends and swivels. But again, very tight, so just be careful. And then I think there's just a ball joint here in the foot. Nice big feet. The big feet honestly make me think of the... Um, what was the name of the vehicle? Uh, now I can't... I know the ship was called the Righteous Indignation, but the little sidecar that in the show was inside of the ship and he would use it as like a, a little side vehicle but the toad croaker i want to say it was called the toad croaker i'm kind of hoping that boss fight studio gives us some vehicles at some point because i would love a little toad croaker for this guy to ride around in but it's a really solid little figure like i said really nice articulation just be careful because the joints are a little tight but i think over time as you kind of work them around they'll get looser and be a little bit more manageable um, but the accessories are great. I really like all of the guns. I should show off the other two. I really like this one with the coils here. And then this one's kind of a more tradition. This one, traditional gun, this kind of looks like Bucky's gun. So, really nice accessories. Really nice head sculpt. I love the additional bills to get some different expressions with the face. I love the different hands. And because he's got two right and two left, you can kind of mix and match and make a bunch of different possibilities there. Paint applications look great. Really like all the molded detail. Nice job there. And honestly, the articulation is great. It's just a matter of, you know, you got to be a little careful because they're just very tight joints. But I think over time they'll get a little bit better and make sure. The only thing is this: some of these bills just, like I said, they're not going to fall off just sitting here. You just have to be a little careful when handling it. But I really think it's a great figure. I like it. I'm really enjoying this line so far. So I'm happy to add Deadeye to the collection. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.